Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you three thrift flips. I've been thrifting in my garage and found a few things that I want to work with and turn into home decor. So stay tuned for this. My first DIY, I have been inspired by this piece of uh, Celtic uh, artwork, this Celtic knot, the internity knot, and I made a stamp out of it and put our initials on, Marika and Yalmar have used it for ceramics and now I want to do a bigger piece of wall art in the same fashion. So, my husband is helping me here take a big ball and just trace it around to get a circle in this piece of uh, wood uh, this work surface that I've used in uh, my workshop and just cut it out and make it nice and neat get rid of all the old paint and stuff Meanwhile, I am taking this um, very compact cardboard uh, material and I am putting our initials on there to fit in this wood round my husband was working on. So I'm just measuring away, do an M and an H, the same fashion that I did on my ceramic stamp. In the end, this is how it turned out, looking good I think. Now it's just a matter of cutting it out and I do that with my jigsaw. This material is quite easy to cut so that was not a problem. You just have to be careful not to put your fingers in the wrong place but also to follow the lines so you don't end up with um, something and not very good looking. Just work slowly and with a lot of focus and you will do all right with the jigsaw. And I made it. This is how it turned out. Beautiful, I think. Now it's just a matter of uh, sanding off all the edges to get it to look nice and neat. This video is part of the third Thursday Thrift Flips, hosted by Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Elizabeth at Southern Gimo Girls. And if you're not familiar with these ladies and their channels, Jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. Links, you will find them in my description together with a link to the playlist of this challenge for more flip ideas. Now I'm painting my letters with a grey acrylic paint as a base coat. Just one coat was needed. Here I have my wood round and I want to start by dry brushing it with a white acrylic and black acrylic to make it look old and worn. Just brushing away until I'm happy with the result. Now it's time to mimic this piece of art, this Celtic knot, an eternity knot. I start out by finding the center of my wood round and from there I'm just looking at this piece of jewelry and try to recreate it as best as I can. I have my a razor handy nearby so if I mess up I can just erase and start over again so I continue all the way around my piece
Once I'm done sketching, I take my black acrylic paint and start to paint this Celtic knot. Just one coat. Here I'm working with a white acrylic to make highlights. Imagine that uh, the light is coming from one direction and that will make my 2D painting into a 3D painting. It will come alive. I really love how this is turning out. So at this point I thought it was a shame to put uh, some big letters just uh, onto this piece of art. So I decided to go for another option that is to make a double sided wall art piece. So I will have my letters on the other side so whenever I feel like it I can just turn it. So here I'm working on the letters again and since I'm going to put this on the other side I decided to have the same colors as my Celtic knot. So black, one coat and on the back side of my wood round I do the same here. I'm dry brushing with white and black to make it look old. I continue to mimic the Celtic knot here by highlighting just one side of the letters to give it a more 3D effect. And it would look something like this, looking good I think. So now I need to put a hanger on my wood round so I can put it on the wall. And I am drilling on the top of the wood round like you see me do here and put in this screw, this loop screw or whatever you call it. As you can see here on the back side I decided to paint a circle identical with the one on the other side. Now it's time to attach my letters and I do that with some wood glue. Just put it on I decided to smear it out with just my finger. Works like a charm. Then I put it in place and put something heavy on top and let it sit overnight. And here it is, my wall art. Looking pretty, I think. I love that Celtic eternity knot. Beautiful. Fits right into my decor. What do you think? And if I ever get tired of it, I can turn it around and look at our initials there, M and H beautiful as well I think. Since then I have hung it up a little bit higher. We have such tall ceilings here 
in our living area. For my second DIY, I have found some things in the garage. This thing, I think it was from building a railroad or something. And this big screw nut. First, I decided to maybe make a candle holder like that. But then I will still make a candle holder, but I will put it in another way like that. But then I need some support and this little screw nut will do the trick. Just put it in the right position like that. And you can fit the candle and it will look perfect. First thing I need to do now is to clean them up. As you can see, they are quite rusty. And I do that with this steel brush attached to my drill. I take away as much of the rust as I can. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. My husband is helping me to weld the pieces together and here he is removing even more of the rust because you can't weld them together when there are dirty surfaces. I have only tried to weld once in my life so I let my husband do it this time to get it a lot better than I could ever do it. Once he has cleaned the surfaces properly, he starts to weld the pieces together. Time to spray paint the piece in a matte black spray paint. And I applied two coats to make it look really, really good. And here it is, my rustic, beautiful candle holder. I love it. I like that industrial touch to it. What do you think? Not something that you expect to use when creating a candle holder, is it? For my third and final DIY, I found this old, very, very old hoe, garden hoe in the garage and I will make it pretty, make it into a vase or something, but just remove that um, leftover piece of the handle. So first thing here, as well as for my other pieces I made today, I will clean it up with my steel brush. And there was a lot of dirt on this one, I tell you. Hubby to the rescue once more. He's helping me here to remove that leftover piece of the handle. Just banging it smashing it to do whatever he could to remove it. I also found this metal doorstop in the garage and I decided to use that little frog to embellish my garden home. Or oh, my vase, it's soon to be a vase, isn't it? So it has screw holes already in it, so I'm taking a masking tape, put it on and mark where the holes are, like that. 
and then I take my masking tape and put it on the hoe so we know where to drill. And here I'm just doing some markings with a hammer so the drill won't slip. Hubby is drilling the holes. And it looks good. Perfect. Just attach the little frog like that. Cute, isn't it? And here I will spray paint the piece in the same matte black color that I used for my other piece. Two coats here as well. If you like this video and videos like this, hit that like button and the subscribe button of course for more inspirational videos. My aim is to post one or two videos per week. And here it is, my little vase with the cute little frog on it. And as you can see, I have a glass tube there. It was once on a paraffin lamp, but no lamp to be found. So it's perfect for this piece. So tell me what you think of my creations today. Did you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments. I love to read your comments. And now it's time to head on over to my description box and hit that playlist link to this challenge for more flip ideas. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.